Hello dear students, today we start with a new and a dynamic chapter called as basic problems of an economy. Now students, in the last few chapters we have already seen that human wants are unlimited. By wants we mean desires, human desires are unlimited but resources to deal with them are scarce. The word resource indicates income or money. Money to deal with these unlimited wants is limited. Let us understand this statement better. Students, a family has unlimited wants, unlimited expenses to make. Like Mr. Israni has to spend on food and grocery, clothing, shelter, education, health, these are some of the basic necessities of life. Apart from this, expenses on gadgets, holidays, paying electricity bills, insurance premiums and many more wants. This means that Mr. Rizwani's family is like any other family with unlimited wants. But then his income is not enough to fulfill all his wants. Similarly, at the macro level, a country too has unlimited expenses to make. Like, Indian government has to incur expenses to provide food to its people, building residential complexes and housing, providing education facilities to them, giving employment, expenses on defense, cost and cut due to infrastructure, energy, transport and communication, etc. Many more wants. But resources to deal with this unlimited wants are scarce. And here resources indicates the factors of production, land, labor, capital and enterprise. See, in 2011, India's population was 125 crore. But GDP, Gross Domestic Product or National Income of India was 2 trillion US dollars. Now Indian government at that time faced a dilemma of meeting unlimited wants of its citizens with limited budget and resources that it had. So the Indian economy is like any other economy in the world with unlimited wants and scarce resources. But, students, an economy cannot produce all the goods required. Why? Because of scarcity of resources. The word scarcity refers to a situation where there exist only limited amount of resources due to which only limited amount of goods can be produced. It is not possible for an economy to produce every type of good in unlimited quantity. It is not possible for any country to satisfy all the desires of its citizens. So, an economy has to make some important decisions. Here, an economy has to decide about what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce. Now, as these problems are common to every kind of economic system, to every country in the world, therefore they are known as central problems of an economy. In the next module, we will understand the causes of these basic and central problems of an economy.